Hey everybody, Andrew here. Welcome to Living the Northern Life. As you can see, we're having a bit of an issue with one of the sleds and uh, we're told that it's the spark plug caps. And so I went to Canadian Tire this morning, bought some new spark plug caps and we're just gonna take a minute to uh, try to get it to start. Uh, it normally just either runs on one cylinder or maybe two, or sometimes it just doesn't run at all. So we're gonna switch out those spark plug caps and see where we get. We're just uh, taking the caps off. You just untwist them from the wire. Might even be able just to give it a, like a pull while you're twisting. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. It doesn't seem to be coming off very fast. It must go in there a long way. Yeah. So did you get a phone call? Yeah, he called me. <laughs> they got a sneaky pop. So guys, I'm not really sure what's going on with this. My, uh, my stepfather's changed the plugs. He's cleaned the carbs. Uh, we put on the new uh, uh, spark plug cap uh, resistors. Um, it's getting lots of spark. Uh, we've made sure that the carburetors are set correctly and that there's uh, no air getting in. Um, even dumping some fuel down the cylinder didn't cause it to, to turn over, uh, although it is sparking. Um, so I'm not really sure what's going on. Uh, leave your comments down below um, and it would help if you guys would subscribe. All right, so before I end this video, uh, we had somebody over to do a compression test on the motor. Um, the left side, if when you're sitting on the sled, the left side is down to 110 PSI and uh, the right side is 130. So it looks like we need to put some uh, rings and gaskets uh, in the sled. Um, uh, my stepfather is probably going to lift this up and try to get the job done before I get back, but I'm going to order the parts and uh, try to show this to you as we're doing it. But uh, I just wanted to close this video off for you guys. All right, so my stepfather had somebody over and to have a look at the uh, the sled, and they did a, a compression test, and one of the cylinders was really down. So the issue is that uh, they needed to replace a piston and some rings, uh, which, of course, I didn't capture um, on camera at all. Uh, they got that done while I was away, so unfortunately it needed an engine job. I wish I had that footage for you guys here, but I don't. So until the next one, keep living the Northern Life. Thanks for watching Live in the Northern Life. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and our website. Remember to click subscribe, click that bell notification, and give us a thumbs up for the videos you like.